Today's show is all about spring health dangers you didn't know you were making or that were making you sick, fat, and tired. And with spring, well, it also comes the start of baseball and softball season. Take a look at this home video from a mom who wants to make sure her kids stay safe on the field. Hey doctors, I have two girls that enjoy softball. There you go. I have a nine-year-old who's a pitcher and a five-year-old who wants to be just like her big sis. Do you have any tips that'll help them play the game safely without injuring their shoulders? I'm here with the orthopedic surgeon, Dr. Mark Addix from Ironman Sports Medicine Institute in Houston, Texas. We also have Lena and her kids, Kiana and L'Oreal, here in the audience. Thank you all for joining us. Thank How you. are you? Mm -hmm. And you know what? Softball's fun, baseball's fun, but we have to be safe out there with the kids because lots of injuries can occur. The sp springs here in baseball and softball have started, and we see tons of injuries in the clinic. Now, the common injuries in baseball, you hear about shoulders and elbows particularly. Now, softball, there's a lot fewer injuries, but it's really important for the kids to be working out, staying in shape. I heard you earlier talking about how you don't want to sit around all winter and then spring comes and you get going. You want to be active year round. Now, girls, would you want to come up here? Sure. Come on up on stage. Because <laughs> while we, how are you? Good. Yes. Would you be willing, Kiana, to, to throw the softball? We've got some wiffle balls here, but I'm going to have you show us how you throw a softball. Okay? okay. It'll be cool. So, so throw it as hard as you can. Come on over here. Okay. We're going to have you show been how, warming up. <laughs> how a softball is thrown. And, and Dr. Addis, talk to us. Go ahead, Kiana. Okay. Go ahead and throw. Talk to us about how this is actually a little bit better. Now, you, you, can see, you can see what they talk about in softball is you start in a closed position, and then when she steps, her hips open up, and then she comes through. Now, the arm is actually in a much safer position throwing the softball. But the hips, it's a really violent movement with the hips. And so very often what we see is hip injuries in softball pitchers, not arm injuries. Throw, no, throw, throw it again. Oh, oh and no. he's out. Good throw. That was awesome. And of course, so and that's so, different than, than a baseball. baseball pitch. So if you watch a baseball throw, what you see, what you see is the elbow is twisting violently. The, the arm comes up. This is the humerus of the arm bone, and the arm comes up, and then the elbow comes up, and then it bends. And so you can see how people injure their elbows throwing a baseball. So it's really crucial for baseball pitchers to stretch out and to be in good shape. So one thing people do, they call it the shoulder opening exercise, is take a bat and try to go over their head. Can you guys do that? You wanna try Where you that? just go all the way over your head with the bat? Okay. And, and, and you all can right. use something longer like this if you need to, right? Absolutely. All right, now, so just, I, just like this, outside. can you feel that? Oh, oh, oh even yeah. Did. Do you feel that stretch? Yeah. Sort of L'Oreal, little... do you I, feel that? I feel a little bit like Chris Farley. <laughs> <laughs> this is warming up, opening up that shoulder joint. Ooh, that feels good. All right, here's another one. Now, we've talked about you know, all the stretching. Now, one thing that I've seen all the quarterbacks and the receivers doing in the NFL and college is they do this exercise to strengthen their hands, their forearms, all the muscles in your forearm cross your elbow, so they protect your elbow. And that is this little exercise here. So we each take two of these, okay? And you just hold it by the very corner. Okay. You have one for each hand, okay? All right, you got it. And then here's two for you. So you hold it by the corner, here you go. And then you hold your arms out straight, and then you crumple them up, starting at the edge. So you have to bring them up. The bigger the paper, the harder it is. 